Right, good morning everyone. First thing, out, a wee walk. Obviously trying to get my steps up because we're in lockdown, you know. When I'm in work, I'm constantly walking about, so my step count's just sky high every single day, just from going to work and just walking about the kind of city areas and stuff. But outside of that, I don't really go out in a lot of walks and stuff, unless I'm walking to the shops or something. So since I'm not at work and I'm not out as much, I need to be forcing myself to come out. Not that I need to force myself, I love going out walks anyway and I think everyone should anyway. The area that I live in is a lot of kind of country roads and stuff as you can see. There's not a lot of people, there's not a lot of cars and stuff but it is freezing but good views and stuff like that. So usually first thing in the morning during the week I'll be working. So nowadays I just usually do some online work in the morning and stuff like that. Get that out of the way. Usually that's something I would do at night because I guess my mornings during the week are the busiest. I'm in about three or four nights a week but those other three days I can just focus on working on my laptop. Or I'll just go to like a restaurant or a cafe during the day if I have a wee break. But obviously that is not happening right now unless man was to break some rules but we're not going to do that. So yeah. That's the plan. And then go to my mate's house to train a bit of legs. Looking forward to getting a wee training session in. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this walk and I'll see you soon. Sticky situations I ain't ever looking back. If the music don't work, then I'm heading to the track. Lap after lap, making rack after rack. Gelato 41 and we got cookies by the pack. I can't teach you about no bank cards I can take you round the block and show you trap yards I used to trap for some jewels and some mad cars Now I'm pretty right, stacking for some fat yards I was thrown in the deep and no lifeguards No older, just me and this brick when I trapped hard Me and B star in the German when we drive past Most these niggas in the station turn to pop stars Jakes hate me cause they don't know where my drops are Silly amount of money that I made from this light car TT grub What's happening guys? I'm um, just here with Mitchell um, he's another fellow PT online coach. Uh, we just wanted to talk about kind of the lockdown things going on in Scotland at the moment and just the whole of the UK, obviously England. I've just, I think they're coming out of a lockdown soon. Um, and we just want to talk about kind of mental side effects of not going to the gym. Because I think, like for me anyway, and I'm sure for Mitchell, like a lot of his clients kind of feel the mental side effects yeah, of definitely. not going to the gym. Obviously, we use it as a way of like, it's like our job Aye. and using a way to Aye. build our physique. People don't always look at it as a way to build our physique. It's just an escape. Aye, it's for just them. for people with general just fitness goals, like to keep fit. Mm -hmm. um, Even just running a treadmill or whatever doesn't need to be fucking like pushing weights. And yeah. Exactly. I know. I know a lot of members in my gym that are like that. You know, people that just want to come to the gym for a bit of an escape and just to kind of get their mind off things. Um, but you know what I would say about that is this in Scotland anyway. It's only three weeks, you know. Um, I think people were, were before you know it, man. I, like. <laughs> people are people are over exaggerating that a wee bit. I think people think that this is going to go on for a lot longer, but she's Nicola Sturgeon's actually said that this is going to end in three weeks. Was so, it 11th December? Then? I I think so, man. And um, England's obviously coming out early. I, so I went I went home so to coming out, out early, but I, they're, again, they're almost out. Um, you know they'll be out in the, I think it's the second of December, and I don't reckon. I mean, don't hold me to this, but I don't reckon there'll be another one. And um, personally, I, know. I don't think they'll shut gyms again because. They just, they've had too much backlash about it. They know that it's... The public don't take well to it yeah, at all. I know. Um, but what I'm going to say is, just a wee positive message from us, like, just stay, obviously, positive. Yeah, try and do, keep know, busy as well. Just I, whatever, it, whatever it is. doesn't need to be necessarily training. Like, even do a walk, or maybe find something that you've always wanted to do, go try it. And I, just keep yourself mentally busy. Exactly, man. Like, home workouts maybe aren't ideal, but, you know, they work for the time being. this, but... Yeah. Like, we, you know, you can maintain... Um, anything obviously if you're trying to I reckon if you're trying to lose body fat you can still progress your goals mm, that's what I mean I'm in a deficit so I, exactly man so like if, but if you're trying to gain muscle and gain strength it's a wee bit different obviously you just yeah. need to kind of maintain for a bit you're not going to be able to gain much if you don't have much equipment it's going to be quite hard to improve on that yeah. so I'm trying to gain muscle at the moment so I've just been put to a standstill just trying to maintain my weight but for those who want to lose body fat which are I assume it's probably the majority of people. That's all there. my all my clients are all in a deficit. I, exactly, man. Like the, it's the same that a lot of my clients are as well. So I would just say, you know, keep at it. Um, you can still stay in a deficit. You know, obviously your output's maybe not going to be as much. Um, you definitely still be able to make it work though. Hundred percent. Like, what would you what would you kind of recommend for people to kind of try to lose body fat during this time? You just keep mentally active. I'd say Aye. most as well as physically active, but you need to keep your mind sharp. Aye. That's what I'd say is more important. Oh, if, mind, if your mind sharp, then your training will just kind of follow. Yeah, yeah. Following. Definitely. I just always try to just do a wee bit of, not so much mental training, but like listening to podcasts. That's what Aye. I do. So I've got to walk and listen to podcasts that keep me mentally busy. Yeah, yeah. And just stay, just try to stay as motivated as possible. I know it's tough, 
but trust me, it will pay off. Like, yeah. mm. And it is only three weeks. Like it's going to yeah. be. It's going to be. Over. What? Where are they? It's only two days in. It's been just Friday, so it's actually four days in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Realistically, you're not going to lose my, much progress in three weeks. Four out of twenty-one. Yeah. Four days out of twenty-one. Hi, basically. I know. Um, so honestly, just stay positive uh, from us. What's happening guys, just a wee walk, you know, nightly walk, I like to do this, I did this last lockdown as well, um, not ideal because the weather you know, <laughs> is not the best, but we move, we move, I live quite far away from like, the city and that, so it's quite good routes and stuff to go walks on, although, as you can see, there's like, barely any lampposts, so you know, comes a bit of a problem at times, especially because it's only bloody, in fact it's not even night time, can, what time is it, 20 past 6, so... It's not even late, um, but yeah, it's already pitch black, but yeah, it's good to get out. I would say at least twice a day, that's what I usually do, especially when I have nothing else to do, you know. What else is there to do? But yeah, I always feel good after that, stay out for like 45 minutes to an hour -ish, and then head back. That's what I've been getting up to over the past few days, you know, in lockdown. Pretty much a lockdown, it's three weeks, got to deal with it. I would say best advice I would give to you is just focus on something that you don't normally have time to focus on due to work, if you're off work that is. Stay active, keep going out walks, as we said earlier. Just in terms of, if we're taking fitness out of the equation that I'm talking about, if there's anything you want to do, like any goals you have that you want to start, start it now because you're probably not gonna have much time to do it when you're back at work. So start it now, stop procrastinating. I usually just spend the rest of my night on the laptop uh, doing some work and then later on, I'll just chill out, listen to a podcast, listen to some music, watch some videos. I don't know. Just whatever. Just whatever I'm feeling. But, yeah. I'm still PTing at a PT outdoors at the weekends. About to check out some online plans at the moment. See how everyone's doing. But other than that, stay positive. You know, we'll get through this. Easy days. We're nearly there anyway. Stay productive. Make sure you keep smashing your goals and start. Whatever it is you want to start, just do it. Because I'm sure there's something you maybe wanted to do for a while and you've not had the time or the chance to do it. So get it started during these three weeks, if you're in my position. Right guys, thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.